Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast. I'm going to start off as always in Connecticut where big news lately has been bluefish as the WICC as well as the Catch for the Cure bluefish tournaments are both scheduled for this coming weekend. Now the Catch for the Cure is a one day event to benefit Smilo Cancer Hospital as well as the Yale Cancer Center and takes place on Saturday. Open waters are all throughout Long Island Sound. And for details on how you can sign up and participate in this great event, take a look at the YouTube card at the upper right hand corner of your screen right now or check out thefisherman.com for complete details. Speaking of big blues, they've definitely invaded Long Island Sound the last couple of days, getting word of some massive choppers caught around Fisher's Island, around the mouth of the Connecticut River, and down in the western sound over by the city. Now be sure if you enter in any of these tournaments and you're a subscriber to The Fisherman to also enter your bluefish in the Dream Boat Challenge. Currently the smallest bluefish that's been entered weighed 16.63 pounds. However, any bluefish entered over the minimum weight of 15 pounds gets you in the running for some great prizes. And of course, all of the fish that end up in the top 15 give you a shot at a brand new 2015 Cobia 201cc. That is an awesome boat, well worth getting out there and entering some fish. Speaking of some big bluefish as well, Cooper Madeiras checked in this week and he landed a massive 17-pound bluefish while fishing just outside the Connecticut River. Now I got word there's a good school of blues in the lower Connecticut River, just to the outside, basically feeding on all those bunkers. I was actually heading out fishing last night. A buddy of mine was coming in off of, off in the evening of fishing, and he said just at dusk, loaded up on low team bluefish. Absolutely fish that are gonna place in either of those tournaments. Likely you poke through them, you're gonna get one for the dream boat as well. So give it a shot. But you know. Bluefish are not the only uh, option right now inside the Langon Sound. There's still some pretty good fluke fishing going on, but as I've been saying the last couple of weeks, primarily out in deep water. Now, Fisherman subscriber Andy Tertuis checked in this week with a beautiful nine pound, six ounce fluke that he landed just off of Clinton. Getting in some slightly deeper water, but there's plenty of fish around. You just gotta poke around for them, work those deeper waters. Moving over into Rhode Island, pretty much the big word is fluke and sea bass, and they are loaded from South County on out to Block Island and over on into Newport. So really everything outside Narragansett Bay is doing really well right now. Robin Nash of Quanty Bait and Tackle sent over a picture of a great uh, Block Island fluke that she landed this week. I was taking a look at the buoy dad out there. The temps are up in the upper 70s today. Now, that's probably a little bit of reason why the blue, uh, striped bass fishing has not been that great lately. That water is absolutely warm. I want to let you know about a little feature that we've got at thefisherman.com. You can check a direct link at this, the most recent uh, YouTube car that just popped up in the right hand corner of your screen. We give you free data uh, information from the buoys, tide app, weather, all that stuff free. We've got a great app at thefisherman.com so check it out. It gives you access to all your local buoy data, water temperature, all of the information you could possibly need to plan that next trip in one spot at no charge at thefisherman.com. And then continuing in Rhode Island, black sea bass news is kicking in because as of September 1st, the retention limit goes up from one fish, which we've had for the last few weeks, to seven fish per angler. The Francis fleet, they've been banging away at fluke, but getting a lot of, you know, their single one fish limit sea bass, as of September 1st, they can kick it up to seven fish. And we got word of a nice one, nice uh, sea bass landed by Claire Blount this past week, fishing with the Francis fleet. So congrats on that catch. Make sure you all take advantage of that increased bag limit on black sea bass as of September 1st. Then moving on up into Massachusetts, going to continue with the bluefish word as subscriber David Altrick sent me some great pictures and an awesome video to check out of a big bluefish bliss that he got into. Now he was telling me it was absolutely loaded in Buzzards Bay with all sorts of bait, peanut butter, silver side, sand eels, about everything you could possibly want and bluefish all over them. One of the bigger blues that he got while he was out there, except a picture of that, was Captain Bobby Berman with a big blue that he caught right in the middle of the blitz. Anything that they were throwing was working. It's great to hear there's a lot of bluefish around because really word has been kind of slow in New England so far this year for bluefish. So it's good to hear that they're finally settling in. Ah, sticking with Buzzards Bay, Captain Jason Colby fished in some of the deeper water spots that he has out of uh, his new Newport in Westport in the Westport River, excuse me. And he found a pile of massive fluke on one of his first drifts and stuck with him for the rest of the day. The big fish for his clients was land was a seven pounder landed by Heather. Unfortunately, Jason topped it off with an eight pounder. He bested his his clients, but they still managed a whole bunch of four, five, and six pound fish to go on the day and really load it up. It was a great outing. Finally, getting some better fluke there inside Buzzards. Bay. Moving out a little bit further from Massachusetts, uh, Jenna Goldstein and Captain Thomas Carroll checked in. They loaded up on 
bluefish. Black sea bass and porgies up to three and a half pounds fishes them deeper water out in Vineyard Sound. So it just goes to show some great bottom fishing going on. You can really get an awesome mixed bag. Pick up some blues, mixture of uh, bottom fish, and load up the cooler. Have a great meal on your hands. So there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.